that's it. Gently bring your palms together, rub them against each other. Place them on the closed eyes. And then when comfortable, gently move the palms away. Open your eyes. Hari Om. Sir. Namanarayan. Jai. A very, very warm welcome to all the Ganesh Sadhaks. We have successfully completed the Ganesh Aradhana. We had set out with a very meager and simple Sankalpa. The Ganapati Atharva Shirsha says that whoever chants the Atharva Shirsha a thousand times receives whatever they desire. And with this, we thought that let us try to chant the Atharva Shirsha. And you would be very surprised to know that the final count is more than four times our original Sankalpa. There have been many people who have taken the Sankalpa with us. They had their own Aradhana and Sadhana. In addition to that, they have joined in. And due to many such silent efforts, our count has gone beyond 4,000. This is no mean feat. And I feel this is something which all of us should feel very proud about, very happy. And all of you deserve a pat on the back for continuing with this Aradhana, this Satana. It is said that when we do Abhyas in Patanjali Yoga Sutras, oh, we have some people who are uh, in the Swadhyaya Satra. Can somebody tell me what, how is Abhyas defined in the Patanjali Yoga Sutras? Nirantarya. Nirantarya. Yes. Tatrasthita Yatnaha Abhyasaha. And Satu Dirga Kala Nairantarya Sakkara Sevito Dhura Bhumi. Satu Dirga Kala for a long period of time. No, before that. Tatra Sito Yatnaha Abhyasaha. Remaining fixed, established in that one place which we have decided to make that concerted effort is Abhyas. And how is it qualified? It is qualified as Satu. It is Dirgha Kala. For a long period of times, Nairantarya, without a break, Sakkara, with Sakkara, with great reverence, Asevito, Dhudabhumihi. And you undertake that, then it becomes form. So that is how Abhyas is. And all of you were able to do that. To do it for 10 days, morning and evening, or only morning or only evening, is no mean feat. It's quite a bit. That in itself is commendable. But in addition, the beauty is that all of us are individuals. Somebody sitting in Mumbai, somebody sitting in Pune, somebody in Delhi, somebody in Madras, somebody in USA, somebody in all over the world. But thanks to technology, we have all come together and we have generated a great psychic energy over the last 10 days. And this energy, remember, when we do it singly, it becomes an individual activity. But when there's a group effort, there is an exponential rise when there is harmony and that has happened. I'm sure many of you, if not all of you have felt that there is a marked princess presence in our life. 
no doubt about it no doubt about it absolutely no doubt and of course it is the grace of guru and god with lord gajanan himself that we have been able to feel his presence he is always present but we can't feel him our receptors are dead somehow now we have been able to blow some life into those receptors that's a very good thing and therefore a very hearty congratulations to all of you who have successfully completed this sadhana and now it is important for us to think how and what should we be doing next i have got a lottery 100 100 million dollars wow i'm very happy but then i can say about the lottery as a fictitious thing but unfortunately i have seen many of you would also have seen many of these farmers on the outskirts of cities when a new township is being developed they get big compensation for their land compensation in crores something which they had never even dreamt in their wildest imaginations and suddenly they get it and what do they do they splurge it they get the best car mercedes this that the other they get people they have a nice time and six months one year two years later they are all on the road begging or working as laborers i'm sure you would have come across such people this happens this happens we also have got that lottery just now we are we are uh, yeah we are millionaires now we are millionaires not in rupees some of you might be but in the terms of spiritual wealth yes we have hit a jackpot now are we going to be like these farmers who they received something they enjoyed oh wow almost all his friends see i am such a big person i can have this party i can have that party i ride in the car etc 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 but then that goes away and you are back to square one leading the life in a shackled hut not having enough to eat so are we going to become like that or are we going to be something different do we move in a specific direction a different direction that is what we need to now decide it is it is good to be able to do a sadhana but it is even more important that after having that sadhana what is the direction i will undertake that needs to be decided and for the direction there are four purusharthas which are said to be essential everything what we desire comes under these four purusharthas dharma artha kama moksha dharma means duty in the innate inherent attributes qualities artha means resources kama means kamana desires and moksha is liberation what do we desire we, whatever we want will come under four of these categories there is no fifth you look at it and it is going to come in, in, in any of these four we have to decide what we want what i want might be different than what you want what he wants is different than what she wants everybody is entitled to what one wants but one needs to decide that yes i want 
to go in this direction. And once we decide, I want to go in this direction, then we move in that direction. Then we invoke this energy to take us in that direction. That is something which is very crucial. And if that doesn't happen, then slowly and slowly that energy dwindles away, dies away. And we feel, oh, yeah, that, those 10 days, they were really great, amazing. Yeah, but then after that, what happened? We came down. No. A yoga aspirant should not let that happen. It is not wrong to desire small or desire material things or desire success or desire anything that is not wrong. What is wrong is to be directionless. That is not acceptable. You must have a direction. God has given us options. A donkey, a monkey, a lion, a tiger. They don't have an option. Mother nature decides for them. When they will start feeling sleepy, when they will start feeling hungry, they are completely ruled by instincts. We are not. We have some degree of option to understand what should be done. I will not say free will because free will is a big subject. But we have something more than the animals. We have a better understanding. And let us say that as a villager in the governmental system, I have no say in what can be done. But when I become a sarpanch, the mukhiya of the village, I have some leeway and I have some options to decide which the villager does not have. If I become a block development officer, I have more leeway. If I become the district collector, I have got even more leeway. And as I go up and up and up the hierarchy, I have much more leeway and options available to me. But do I have free will? No. Even the Prime Minister of India cannot do anything of his own will. There is a code of conduct. There is a protocol. There is a system which has been set into motion. And they cannot go beyond that. Nothing in life can go beyond the blueprint. Now is the time to decide where we are, what we want to do. And decide that yes, this is where we will go. This is where what we want to do. As far as SSYRF is concerned, we already have decided. This is the year of, this is the period of Satyam Shatabdi Yog Yag. A dedication to Gurudev who taught us so many things. And it is a tribute to him. In the Aarti, there is one line which says, Tera Tujko Arpan. O Lord, I offer to you what, your, what it is yours from the beginning. Kya lage mera? There is nothing which I have. Whatever I am giving you is yours. Same way, what we are doing is what Swami Satyananda taught us. How to lead life. How to make a difference in our life. And there can be no greater dedication to Guru by a disciple than trying to inculcate, imbibe and live the teachings of the Guru. So, this is the Sankalpa which SSYRF has undertaken and as a part of that Sankalpa, there are many, many activities which we are already started, some which will be started sooner 
or later. But that is the sankalpa. There are two aspects. One which we call as satyam gram samvardhan for the village. There is another aspect called satyam atma samvardhan. As a part of the satyam atma samvardhan, you heard Ashish tell what they have decided, the various yoga programs. The yoga programs, they have got four different ideas. One is therapy. One is spiritual growth and personal growth. Third is upskilling so that those who are in their careers, they can know how I can be a better person and I can achieve what I want to achieve. A better doctor, a better engineer, a better businessman, a better student, a better husband, a better wife, whatever better I want to be, I can do that. And the fourth is lifestyle. There are four lifestyles which are there. First is that of a student. Then second is that of a householder. Third is of a vanaprasthi. And fourth is that of an effective parent. I am not including sannyas in that because sannyas cannot be uh, a part of this at this point of time. First, we need to understand these three. How can I use the principles of yoga to become a better person? So that was Atma Samvardhan. There is a point of yoga ecology which was missed out. That is there. And then there are various seva activities. I don't know if uh, some of uh, our team members are going to mention that. But what we were talking in the beginning, somebody was telling me that I'm old. I'm so far away. How can I help? I can't do anything. And to me, if there is anything wrong, it is this thought which is wrong. I cannot do anything. No, we can do everything. First, we have to change this thought that I cannot do anything. The moment we take that bit out, suddenly options starts appearing. You might have limitations, but you have options also. Why can't I look at the options? And why can't I look at the possibilities? immense possibilities. And when we start working on those immense possibilities, then newer doors open. So, don't think you can't do. Yes, you can do. Second thing, we were speaking of Karma Yoga some time ago. And in Karma Yoga, the choicelessness, the selflessness, the surrender is very important in addition to perfection. And when you dedicate it to somebody, then it becomes seva. Just like a mother dedicates to her child. The mother might be in the kitchen cooking, but all her mind is there on the child. There's a small cut. The mother knows, oh, my child is having this. Am I wrong? I have so many practical examples before me. Galat to bol dijiye. That happens most naturally. The same thing we have to do on this dimension. And when we do that, then the grace of the Lord comes on us. We were speaking of Patit Pavan. They say that God is one of the names of the Lord is Patit Pavan. Meaning, He uplifts those who are downtrodden. And how is he going to do it? Is he going to come from the heavens in a, uh, you know, beautiful bird and a throne? And no, he's not going to do that. He's going to look out for means and mediums. And through different mediums, he or she, whichever way you would like to call them, that higher energy manifests. There was a joke. There was a person who was a great devotee of the Lord. And they were staying in an island. And it was a tsunami period, I think. 
and the sea was rising. He was stuck. Everybody was running helter skelter. He was sitting quietly. He said, the Lord above, he will take care of me. I am sure. Fun, wonderful. So, everybody, he was sitting very quietly. And suddenly out of nowhere, you know, uh, an old uh, uh, rackety boat came and there was one man sitting. He said, Chalo, I'm, I've managed to get this uh, raft together. Come on, let's, uh, you know, reach safe place. He said, no, 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 God is going to take care of you. He said, okay, fine, I'm going. Then a better boat came. Still the same reply. Finally, he saw water was coming up, but he was quiet. And he saw there was an army raft which came. And he said, come on. And he, they threw a rope at him. Come on. He said, no, God is going to take care of him. They tried their level best to pull him out. He did not come. Finally, they had to let him go and move ahead. The water kept on rising. It went beyond his nose and he drowned. He went up to heavens. And the first thing he says is, oh God, I believed so much in you and you never came to help me. God smiled and said, my dear, I came not once, not twice, but I came three times. Who do you think it was who sent that boat to rescue you? Who do you think it was that in spite of your stupidity, I sent another boat? Who do you think in spite of your stubbornness, I sent you a third boat with a rope to pull you out? Now, if you are adamant not to take, then I really can't help you. You need to be ready to take. So in the same manner, we need to be ready to take that opportunity. This opportunity has come. We have harnessed that energy. And how do we utilize it? That you need to decide. We have decided. Let us try to become that means God is Patit Pavan and he is looking for such means. Maybe I am a rickety, rackety raft. Doesn't matter. God made use of that also. I offer myself as a medium for divine energy to flow. Not by saying, but by doing. And when I start doing, when I start worrying for somebody else who is in pain, sorrow, suffering, hardness, hardships, then that divine energy starts flowing. And there is experience of divinity. And I must say, I have been witness to that. The medical camps, actually every day in the ashram is a witness to that. But the medical camps were something which were unprecedented for me at least. And we have amongst us someone else also who has experienced the magic, the beauty, the grace, the divinity. And it is amazing. Can I request Vidya Ji? Vidya Majumdar, can I request you to share your experience? Yes, Swami Ji. Yes. Yeah, please. To me, few years back, I went to Rikia Peach for the first time. And uh, I went for three, four months actually. And I thought that I will get some uh, seva to do there. I did not know what to do. They asked me, what is your liking? And uh, I saw what were the options. Out of that, I said, reading, writing is my um, hobby or it's my profession, whatever you can say. And uh, editing of book or reading about the books that I preferred. So that was my choice given when they I filled the form. When I came in the ashram, they put me in the medical section. So, and I was prepared to do anything. I was just wondering 
what I will do in the medical section. I just know how to Google and find out some medicines here and there. I never knew that there is a Swamiji who is a very proper doctor, very clever doctor, and he has achieved so many medals in his uh, right from 10th standard up to everywhere, which I did not know that time. So when I went to the medical section, I was very surprised that Swami Shivananda's photo was there. And I just thought, yeah, Swami Shivananda was also a doctor. So here is the a very proper medical section. And then the works were given to me of writing the names of the villagers and everything else. Uh, he told me how to do everything. And it was really fun and a good experience for me. And I got into that routine. And then there was a medical camp. So I was looking forward to join the medical camp. But that time, I got my preferred choice, that is reading and writing of the books. So I thought that actually I don't prefer it anymore. I want to stay in the medical camp only. So I did not say that. I just thought in my mind. I have decided that I will not say anything. Whatever comes, I will take. And after that, I went to the computer section. I was given the books. All the books were, uh, mostly they were written by Swami Satyananda Ji. And I have to go through the books and see what section is on the Atma Bodh. And I have to separate it, Atma Bodh. And then uh, there were actually nearly 25 to 30 books on my table. So I have to go and read through all those books. And I have to see what is the Atma Bodh section and then put it in a line and like, like a flow. So I took the books and I was in the computer section. By that time, I got a room in which I was all alone. So I asked whether I can just, take the Just books. a small correction. It was not Atma Bodh, it is Atma Bhav. Atma Bhav, yeah. Right. So, so all the books I took in my room also. So day time, I was reading the books. And even night, because it was all alone in the room, I was reading the books. And even though I did not see Swami Satyananda, but through his books, I was knowing him maybe better. And he has written it so clearly, so honestly, everything, that I was really surprised I could see his heart like a crystal, going like arpar. I can see what is happening because he wrote it so clearly. I mean, there was one, uh, I will give you one small uh, episode that I was reading. And these were very unconnected speeches because the speeches were given in different countries, different places, to different people at his different age. And I could see that how Swami Satyananda's ideas also changed over the time and how it become more matured or more spiritual and how the vairagya was totally in him shining up at the end. And he has written it so clearly that at the end uh, type of uh, Rikya lectures, he has said that I was a like joker and I was just making you laugh. And it was my duty. Actually, when he was in many other countries, People has to come. They has to be amused also. They should be interested. So you have to put some episodes which are amusing. So he said, now I don't need anything. I don't need you. I only want to see how the Rikya people will improve. If you have to talk about that, talk to me. Otherwise, don't talk. So he was really that clear. Many people left him that time. Actually, we all want that people should admire us. So he left that location also. So I was so much impressed. I mean, impressed is a very small word. I don't know what word I should use. So under these circumstances, the medical camp was coming. And of course, I was not there at all. And once in the night time, I saw one uh, star-like thing. I did not know whether I was uh, sleeping or not. I saw the star and I thought that anyway, I look at the stars also. So maybe this star, I got up at four o'clock. 
and then I started reading the books. Again, the second day also, I saw one star. But this time the star was more clear. Third day, I saw the star and the star was, as I was looking at it, it became more and more clear and brighter. So I kept on looking at it. Slowly it changed its color, it became blue, then it became green. And it actually descended on the earth. So I thought, what is that? It was a very long dream or vision or whatever. And when I saw it, it was a rocket. So I thought that, oh, this is a rocket. So I should go and see who, is, who has come. And the uh, matter ended there only. Next day, I just got to know, not, uh, I did not see anything. I just understood. Um, Swami Satyananda said that from the seventh loka, I am sending somebody. So that time I did not know what is the seventh loka. After verse only, I found out that seventh loka is Satya loka. Because I just wanted to know what, what is the seventh loka. It was Satya loka. And he said that uh, I am sending somebody. And again, the same dream came. This time when I went up to the rocket, the rocket opened. And I thought that there will be some astronaut as we see with their dress and all that, because I have, we have seen the pictures of the astronauts. But it was actually quite low down. I have to really go and look at it. It was at least nearly five to six feet down. And there was an old wooden plank on which there was a man or a boy was lying down. So since it was five to six feet down or maybe three, four feet down, I gave him a hand to come up. And somehow he then came up. And I saw that he had two legs, but the legs were thin and he could not stand on those legs. And the matter ended there. After that, I kept on thinking, what is this about? What is this about? I was all alone in the room. I did not tell to anybody. By that time, the medical camp people have started coming. And some doctors, I remember one particular team from Jabalpur, one lady doctor with her nurses, they came. And I thought that Swami Satyananda has sent somebody. And this is a dream or what? And uh, if he has sent, then I must see that person. Because I really don't believe on dreams. Many people say that I got this dream, I got that dream. And I always feel that they are just, uh, uh, I mean, making the gupshap. So I, I also did not tell this to anybody because I thought just like I think people are making some... Uh, uh, Gapshap. Similarly, people will think that I am telling Gapshap. So I did not tell anybody. But I thought that I must see this person. So I went to this uh, medical camp started by that team. I asked the whenever they came for breakfast, I asked them, was there any person who had two legs but who could not walk? And they said, no, no. Actually, this is not an orthopedic camp. Then I also knew that it was not an orthopedic camp. So he will not come into this camp. Again, I kept on asking many other doctors also, did you meet any patient like that? They said, so, no, no, no. This is only some gynecology or some other camp, not orthopedic camp. And then I was slightly disappointed. I knew that it is not orthopedic camp. And then one day when I went to my computer section, it was locked. And then nobody was there around. So I thought that I will go to Paduka Darshan. I went there. The gate was locked because the Rohits were doing some puja which will go on for two hours and after that only they will open the door. So I thought that okay then I will just uh, go to the medical section and I went to the medical section. It was actually quite cool and as I entered the medical section say, at whatever was the ground, ground means open ground, it was all covered with white cloth. It's like a pandal they had already made because Patients have to sit there. And I saw that through that white cloth, very small light particles, like this, they were light by weight and they had light. So light particles were showering, they were coming. It was like a shower. Or you can say it was like a snow. When the snow falls, how does it fall? 
but snow we can see it is very light in weight but it is solid but this one was not solid this was not opaque it was transparent and it was giving out light so they were light i can say it, it was photon i mean like photon i can say so but it was showering so i thought whether this is a mist or what but something i mean i was really excited and as i entered the door from the other side of the door i saw some three four people taking a old wooden plank on which a person was lying down so as he was entering the pandal so it gave me the shivers on my the same old plank which i saw in the rocket and then at the entrance these people got him down and they were holding his hands and he was walking or they were just carrying him and they were sitting there on the bench <coughs> in the patient's line so when i looked at him i understood that old plank and this was the man or boy whose legs were very thin and who could not walk so there was one uh, girl from bombay with her name was shreya then she was telling something i said no i have to sit down because i was shivering so much my legs really gave away i said no i have to sit down means i will fall down i did not tell her then she said no no you go to swami ji then i said no no i don't want to go to i cannot i mean i thought i will not walk up to all that pandal and go to swami ji then she took me and i was standing near swami ji and then he said what happened then i said i know one person i i i i did not know what to tell him i said i know one person and he's that person he came from seventh loka so only that i mean unconnected foolish sentences i could say <clears throat> and i thought whether he will believe it or not i would not have believed it if somebody said that i would have thought that maybe something went wrong with that but i think swami ji understood he believed and he took me to that person and i saw him <clears throat> by that time there were bhajans and sir lo song was going on and i found that it was a very divine experience that is all namunar namunar no words no words really thank you so much vidya ji it has been it you have uh, made me relive those moments was very very touching but just to goes to show that what is happening is not happening by human design things are happening by divine design we happen to be present over there and since we happen to be present let us make the best of this let us offer ourselves to that and it is our grace our good fortune if we are made a medium for that energy to flow and i to have decided i i cannot say for others but i have decided that has to be the way and that is the way which has been shown by our masters our way swami ji used to say is not the way of closing the eyes but opening the eyes opening your heart reaching out to people reach out to connect with them and that is what happens and i am sure what you have heard from vidya ji can give you just a glimpse of what is possible and she did not ask for it she did not even know that person she did not know anything but she just opened herself i i was to go for a clinic fair i i wanted to go for reading but now i'm sent here choiceless went with the whole heart then she was shifted away that was also okay and then suddenly this comes in that is the way we can open ourselves to the grace and make it flow 
and that has that is my sankalpa that is the sankalpa of the satyam sumiran yog research foundation sumiran means remembrance constant remembrance satyam sumiran remembering satyam principles satyam or the phenomena known as swami satyananda both are the same and doing that we can lift ourselves we can transcend our limitations and that is the way forward for us if there is anybody from our team or anybody else who would like to share your thoughts your experiences you are most welcome Swami ji, if I can say, I mean, I have my experience of the medical camp was nowhere near uh, Vidya ji's experience, but then uh, it was one medical camp, and I knew this was the way. So uh, yes, uh, walking behind you, Swami ji, each step of the way, please show us the path. Swami ji is there to do that. All we have to do is walk. Beautiful, beautiful. that is nice that is nice anyway after what vidya ji has told bahut lots of memories lots of experiences one thing comes to my mind you know uh, in the first medical camp uh, that time everybody who would come they would say oh wow there is so much of energy here you i somebody would say i feel swami satyananda i feel swami shivananda's energy vibrating and all that and i was like hello i don't feel anything and i'm doing everything running around uh, everything 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 for some reason i had to go across to a different place to uh, either somebody had come so uh, that was there etc and uh, i uh, did that job and came back and as i came in it just hit me like a wave oh my god it was it was amazing and then i realized for me it was like a fish in water and going around seeing i don't see any water i don't see any water because i was in water all along when you step out then you realize oh that it's a great energy and every medical camp is an upsurge of this energy there are hundreds of medical camps which take place many will be much better than how we can do it but there is this one thing which is very unique the divine grace the divine grace which flows and every person is touched and is shifted it is it, it it does it it is magic it is magic so that is something which is very powerful and you just go beyond yourself once you get infected by that energy you don't know how 8 hours have passed or 10 hours have passed or 12 hours have passed खाए हैं या नहीं खाए हैं कुछ पता नहीं चलता है इट इज लाइक यू आर ऑन हाई नॉट ऑन अ ड्रग बट ऑन डिवाइन एक्सटेसिंग ओह इट्स इट्स एन अमेजिंग एक्सपीरियंस एंड इट आई आई ऑल आई कैन से इज इट्स एन अमेजिंग एक्सपीरियंस एंड आई इनवाइट यू ऑल टू कम एंड ट्राई दिस एडिक्शन अगर ये लत लग जाए तो बेड़ा पार हो जाएगा तो केन की लत लग जाएगी तो दुनिया खत्म हो जाती है लेकिन ये लत लग जाए तो बेड़ा पार हो जाएगा ये तो निश्चित कह सकते चलिए जी विथ दिस लेट एस कंक्लूड एंड आई होप यू शुड टेक योर संकल्प फॉर विच आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू सिट डाउन क्वाइटली for a few moments
eyes gently closed. Experience the divine grace showering upon us. Be in the presence of Guru and Ganesha. And this is the time to open ourselves up. Whatever we desire, whatever we want, open your heart and tell it to them. with the same confidence that a child has when it tells its mother, tells its father. It has the complete conviction that my father will give me what I am asking for. With that conviction, with that faith, open your heart to Guru and Ganesha. what you desire, what you want. Dekho bhai, abhi sharmana nahi. Mauka hai, dil khol kar ke, apne aap ko prastut kar dena. And then recollect the sankalpa you have chosen, which we have been speaking about over the last few days. Repeat your sankalpa mentally three times. The grace of Guru and Ganesha, strengthening, showering grace upon them. So, pranam, in complete humility, Jo kuch hai, so tu hi. You are everything. I am nothing. You know my limitations. You know my capabilities. You know my desires. You know my wants. Now take me from here. Help me walk the path. That should be the prayer we make. And with this prayer in our heart, the image of Guru and Ganesha within us. Let us take the Sankalpa to integrate this energy in our lives and to walk forward one step at a time. Pranam. Visualize that your sankalpa is manifesting in your life. Try to go into complete detail of the manifestation of your sankalpa. It is not in future. It is here and now. It is manifesting. And you are able to observe that.
integrate this experience within yourself. Make it an inseparable part of your being. As inseparable as the concept of being a male or a female, a person from one citizenship or one knowledge area, as integral as that is to us, let these qualities become equally integrated within us. And then bring the mind back to Guru and Ganesha and maintaining your awareness of them. We shall chant the mantra Om three times and Shantipat Kutam. Taking in a deep breath. Om. Om. Asato ma sadgamaya tamaso ma jyotir gamaya mrityor ma mrutam gamaya sarvesham swasti bhavatu sarvesham shantir bhavatu sarvesham purnam bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Om Triambakam Yajamahe Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukam Ivabandhana Mrityor Mukshiyamam Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. And Sintranamutra. Tvameva Mata Chapita Tvameva Tvameva Bandhusha Sakha Tvameva Tvameva Vidya Dravinam Tvameva Tvameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Twameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Twameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Hari Deva Hari Deva Gently rub your palms Place them on the closed eyes Experience the warmth radiating from the palms to your eyes, to the body. And then gently move your palms away. Open your eyes. Hari Om. Satsat. Jai. So with this, we complete our Ganesh Aradhana. And now... Onward, forward for completion, manifestation of our Sankalpa. From tomorrow, we will be having our mantra booster as usual. Tomorrow, we will just be having the mantra chanting. We have done a Havan today. So tomorrow, we won't be having a Havan. That's a change. And uh, Sunday, we will have the Swadhyaya Satra. From Monday onwards, 6.30 a.m., we will be having the mantra chanting and next Saturday we will be having the Havana. And then there are various activities, seva activities, there are medical activities, there are nutrition activities, there are Pratibha Samvardhan activities. 
Chilpa, I think at some point we should also do a proper presentation so that uh, people can know what are the activities and maybe all the different people who have taken up areas, they should prepare and make a short presentation themselves. That will be very nice. Sure, Swami. So, Namona Rai, Fir Milte Hai, Jab Mokha Ji, thank you, sir. Namona Rai, Swami. Namuna Ren Swamiji. 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 Namuna Ren Swamiji.